Ecosystemic Permanence. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 525. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for-profit and non-profit business creation, society, and true earth stewardship. My name is Jay Sable, and I'm the executive director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. One Community is bringing out people with the consciousness and the desire for the highest good of all life on this planet to build sustainable, regenerative, and self-replicating teacher demonstration hubs as a pathway to global sustainability. This is our April 16th, 2023 edition of our weekly progress update, and today's topic is creating ecosystemic permanence. Everything you see happening in the background of the video here is our foundations for creating ecosystemic permanence. But before I get into that, let's talk about why we need to create ecosystemic permanence. Like, why does it even matter? Uh, and the simple answer is because right now we're doing the exact opposite of ecosystemic permanence. We are creating ecosystemic destruction. You know, we are using more resources than our planet is capable of regenerating, resources that we have limited amounts of. We're using them up in, in a manner that does not replenish them. You know, we are destroying ecosystems. We are destroying biodiversity. We are poisoning our land. We are destroying our soil. We are poisoning our water. This is a whole bunch of negative, terrible stuff. You know, and I'm not one to focus on that stuff. So that's all I need to say about that. If you're paying attention, you already know what it is that I'm talking about. You know, and the question is, is like, well, why haven't we solved this problem? What's going on here? You know, obviously this is an issue. It affects all of us. You know, there's all, there is no planet B. We live on the only planet. It's our one shared planet, spaceship Earth. We're all hanging out here. And what we do here affects all of us. Why haven't we solved this problem? You know, and the answer is, is band-aids versus solutions. Band-aids versus solutions. We've been putting band-aids on these problems when what we need is an ecosystemic solution and a permanent solution. We need a long-term solution instead of a short-term solution. Like we've already thrown money at these problems, but the problems obviously still persist, you know? And so, and all this while we have the ability, like we have the technology and the ability right now. We do, don't we? We have the technology and the ability right now to grow food without poison, to build homes without toxic materials, you know, to supply all of our energy through renewable means. You know, they've done studies showing like, hey, we're capable of doing this. Like we could just build, we could, we could take just the Sahara Desert and we could build enough, enough solar panels, just that, just in that one location to power the entire planet if we wanted to. You know, and so, and we also have the ability to create enriching environments focused on personal, personal growth and self-development. We have the ability to create, you know, forward-thinking progressive education models that are far superior to the models that we're doing right now. We have the ability to involve parents in those education models more than we are right now. You know, we have the ability to create resource-based economies that are cooperative and collaborative instead of competitive like capitalism and in ways that will benefit all of us. You know, and we, of course, have the ability to steward all of this in a way that benefits every person and living thing on this planet and can create a world that works for everybody. But we haven't yet. <clears throat> and the reason why we haven't yet is because up until now, we didn't have a way to globally collaborate and cooperate on these kinds of things and to put the information out in such a way that the solutions would be accessible to people all over the world that need them the most in a way that is free and easy to apply. And we didn't have a way, you know, to create something as phenomenal as an open source 
resource set that covers food, covers energy, covers housing, covers the social, architectural, fulfilled living aspect of it, covers the education model, covers the economic models, for-profit, non-profit, and resource-based economy models, as well as the stewardship and how to put it all together with all the templates to be able to create even more open source and free shared solutions for people to apply. Never in the history of humanity until now have we had the ability to do this to bring together a global cooperative. And so this is what One Community has done. We've brought together over 700 volunteers from around the world. Every continent except for Antarctica has contributed to our project to create open source tools, tutorials, resources, and do-it-yourself instructions for all aspects of what we call highest good living. And so we're talking about highest good food, highest good energy, highest good housing. These are the kinds of things that our organization talks about. And we talk about like, how do we create the best? How do we create the most easy to follow step-by-step -step instructions? How do we simplify it? How do we address all the challenges associated with all these different areas? And how do we open source and free share that in a way and build one community as a place that people can come and experience all these things and see that everything they see, the food, the energy, the housing, the fulfilled loving malls, all of it, is open source and free shared so it can be replicated anywhere in the world so it can be modified, adapted, and improved upon for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This is our idea of creating ecosystemic permanence. This is our idea of creating something magical, something magnificent, something transformative for all people and the planet as a whole and, and making it accessible to everybody. A self replicating model you know and so we're a non-governmental organization we're a non-profit organization we are an open source free shared organization we're a hundred percent volunteer organization including myself creating this because we want to live this way and creating this because we see that through creating ecosystemic permanence systemic systems that integrate with the ecosystem recognize that we are a keystone the keystone piece of species and a part of the ecosystem capable of stewarding that ecosystem and making it even better if we approach it that way and creating systemic ecological permanence, permanent systems that benefit all of humanity. Why? Not because they're forced on people, not because they're required, but because they're better than the system we have right now. And once people see that, they can start replicating, they will start replicating these models because they'd rather live in a better system for themselves, their families, for generations to come, their grandchildren, children, grandchildren, generations to come. This is our idea of creating a better world for everybody, creating ecosystemic permanence through systems made easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrated as attractive enough to spread on their own. The next evolution of our species and the direction that we're capable of going, creating a sustainable civilization, a permanent sustainable civilization and taking what we've learned and this new access, this new global access, and reaching that tipping point, that critical mass of participation, so we can positively and permanently affect the lives of everyone, everywhere. This is what One Community is up to. So if you like this sort of thing, like and subscribe, ring that bell if you'd like to get uh, see us in your feed. Uh, if you really want to get, get an email from us and really follow our progress, uh, subscribe through our website. If you'd like to see uh, what it is that all of our volunteers, our 100% volunteer team has accomplished, every single one of our volunteers has accomplished within just the last week. Visit our weekly progress update blog. And if you'd like to see all of our open source tools, tutorials, resources, and content, what it is that we've created in this massive undertaking, the hundreds of pages of our website that we've put together, and all the tens of thousands of hours of research that we've done that allows us to say that we have become the number one global sustainability systems company in the world what allows us to say that? Visit our website and see what it is that we've created and how much work and energy we've put in to world change and global sustainability systems and why we're number one and why we're leading this movement. So with that, stick around for two more minutes, another couple of minutes if you'd like to see bullet points and all the major components of our project. And of course, until next week, we will keep on keeping on. Thanks for following our progress. The one community approach to highest good housing is 
eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. One community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. <laughs>